Jason, how are you? Did you have a good weekend? Good. How, was, how was the Wild Foods Festival? Fantastic weekend. Yeah, those hoo-hoo grubs are very interesting, actually. Ooh, mm. yes. Yeah, we're going to sort some out for Mel, I think, <laughs> in the coming month. Okay, what are we doing today? Because I like the sound of it, burgers. Right, we've got burgers on the menu, so we're going to do beef and blue cheese burgers. So really good match made in heaven. We've got some pickles, going to make a little sauce. Um, and we've got some apples and even some Yum. nuts on there if you want as well. A little bit different. Nice. I used to make these with buffalo mince as well, which right. is really good. Okay, but good if you can't work. get hold of buffalo, use beef, it's fine. No, and I tell you what, if you're not fond of blue cheese, this is something you should try because it might just give you that acquired taste. So I used to hate blue cheese, and then I all of a sudden found that I loved it again. So this could be the food that gives it to you. It's great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. Now, Mark, this recipe I'm pretty excited about, because it's not just any old burger, is it? it is a <laughs> blue cheese burger. So I'm pretty excited. Obviously, that's the beef. Yeah, so we got the, so we got the beef. Start. Yeah. Right, so you, so you can, you know, if you don't want to mess around with it and mince it yourself, you know, you can get some um, uh, beef from the supermarket, season it all, um, do it like that, mix it up and then we'll shape it. Or if you don't want to do that, you yeah. can you know, just buy some burgers, yes. let them soften up and then you can reshape them so you can get them thicker. They're always a bit stingy, aren't they, oh, when you buy them? They're yes. about that oh, thin, you know. Tip. Yes, you're yeah. right. Or, you know, if you're really into it and you're having a barbecue, you know, you should um, get a different blend of, you know, buy some hunks of meat and then mince it yourself. Oh. You know, it's great fun. Um, so so well, I've done this quite a lot in the barbecue over summer. So it's always it's always good to use like different ones. So I use a, a chuck. Yes. You know, I use a chuck. It's quite cheap. Um, it's really meaty. And then a brisket, and it gives you that extra depth of flavour. And then you can experiment with putting different fats in it or different uh, yeah. percentage of fats in it. So sort of 15 to 20% is really good. Right. And if you use Wagyu fat as well, it's really good. Okay, good. This is a good thing about this show, because I'm more into this than I was the hair care earlier. <laughs> it's surprising. Like, surprisingly. I know, I know it's like, how, how much money do you spend on all your products for your hair? Uh, not that much. <laughs> you know, I know. Most men at our age are just lucky to have hair. So <laughs> it's like, okay, cool, got it. Let's just look after it. Um, but anyway. It's back to the burgers. Right, so we got so we got the mince there. So if Season. you're going to mince it, you want you know you just got to be really um, sort of uh, you know keep an eye on it and do it cold. So mince always mince your meat cold, okay. so it goes in, and especially when you do your fat as well, you know. So then you can mix it all ah, through. So if right. it if it warms up and your fat melts and goes through, it's not going to be fully incorporated. And when you cook it, right. it's all going to come out. Okay, good tip. Nice. And then basically we're just going to season it up. Yep. And then pretty much, you know, you can add whatever you want in there now, you know. You can put some herbs in there, right. you can put onions in there if you want. But, we, I mean, just for the sake of it now, we're just going to leave it as beef. Yes. So it's all seasoned. And then we'll get some moulds. Yep. Um, so, you know, little metal uh, moulds are good, like cutters. Yes. They're really good. I uh, didn't find any, but so I found a pie tin, which will just work just as well. Yeah. Okay, so just make do with what you got at home. Yeah, just yeah, make, cool. make do with what you got at home. And, and basically, you just want to push it in, and then just use the back of the spoon. You want to really sort of compact it. Okay, so do compact it. Yeah, yep. really compact it, and really sort of squash it to the edges of the moulds. Right. Put a little bit more in there. And then, I mean, the beauty of reshaping it and doing it yourself is you get the right size burger for your bun, mm -hmm. and then you can put as much beef in as you want. Yes, true, because there's nothing worse than having a big bun and then a small patty, or vice versa. Yeah, that's you know? it. And, and you've got to remember as well, when you cook it, it's obviously what's going to happen when you cook the meat, Mike? What, sorry, what's going to happen when we cook the meat? Well, yeah, it's it going to shrink cook. a bit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So it's going to shrink. So always make it a little bit bigger. Jesus, that's a big one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it's quite it's a mad it's quite big one. Yeah, well, yeah. That's what we that's do. Right, yeah. So have a look at your bun. Have a look at your burger. I mean, um, ideally, you could go a little bit bigger because of the shrinkage. Oh, just but I just shrink, yeah. Yeah, but I've gone a little bit higher. So as it's cooking, mm -hmm. I'm going to push it down so we can sort of like spread it a little bit and it should be sort of a, a similar sort of size. And then... Give it a really good season before you cook it. I hope you do it more than just one. <laughs> it's quite, quite a hungry crew and cast around today. <laughs> we'll, just have to, we'll just have to fight about it. And then another, another top tip for you now. Yes. Obviously, you know, we've let it softened up. We've got all our flavours in here. Um, just pop these back in the fridge for about 10, 15 minutes and it'll just firm up a little bit. Okay, cool. And then it'll just be a bit easier to fry. Right. It's not so bad if you do it in a pan like this, but if you're gonna do it on a barbecue with like, you know, thin grates, you want oh, it a little bit to firmer, right. yeah. Otherwise so it, it just goes in. Bits. Yeah, exactly. Bingo. So pop it in, make sure you've got a really hot um, pan or grill. That's gonna seal it in. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get some nice color on both sides, keep cooking it, and then we'll turn the heat down a little bit. And we'll probably just cook it all in the pan. Come put it through the oven if you want to. Right. But then on the last turn, we're going to put that beautiful blue cheese on that and then the heat from the burger is just going to sort of melt on oh. there. So we're going to start cooking that. We've got a little sauce to make. We're going to toast the buns. We'll get everything ready as that's cooking. And then as soon as that's cooking, boom, 
And it's cooking, Ready. yeah, it's smelling incredibly well. It's cooking incredibly well too. I'm really liking this new Beko gas hob that we've got. Absolutely oh, brilliant, yeah, isn't it? We are here in the Beko kitchen and it is smelling fantastic. We've got our beef burger going and now we're going to show you how to do the rest. So how's it looking, Mark? You happy? Yeah, it's good. So we've got a nice, uh, nice seal and some uh, caramelisation on top. Yep. Flips it over and we're cooking it. We're just sort of pressing it down a little bit as we're cooking so we're just compensating for that shrinkage. Okay. Right, we've got our buns here. So we're just going to brush it with a little bit of butter. So you can just, you know, butter. <laughs> uh, no, you say butter. I love that. <laughs> um, what, you know, another good tip for you, if you've got a little bit of time, you know, make a garlic butter. Right. You know, Should put we, some garlic in there. Should we go and sell some of these at lunchtime so we can actually buy a knife? <laughs> <laughs> no, use a, use a little teaspoon, you know. Yeah. You've, got, you've got great control with your wrist, you know, you get that beautiful even spreading. Ah, well, I'll it's actually a cheap skill. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. so we haven't got a knife on the set. Oh, no, anybody? <laughs> okay, cool. Sweet. So, yeah, so if you if you crush a, a garlic clove in there, a little Ooh. bit of salt, a little bit of lemon Ooh. juice, um, and then do it, you know, you just bring up an extra flavour as well. That's a really good tip for you. Nice. Good. Right, so this is still cooking. Yes. So keep having a look. Keep flipping it now. So I've just turned it down. Yeah. I've got some nice colour on the other side. We're just going to keep cooking it until it sort of you know, cook through, but you want to you want to just keep feeling it, so oh, it's still a little bit raw soft. in the yeah. centre. But you know, you don't want to overcook it like to the point where it's just no moisture in there at all. Okay. okay. So you know, it's beef, so we do want to get some heat in it and sort of cook it through. But then you rest it as well and have all those juices in there. Mm, so beautiful. just just watch that. So you're gonna you're gonna keep an eye on those. Yeah. Just want to get some nice reminding me <laughs> caramelisation in there. So the the sugars in the bun will catch. Well, they'll they'll turn, they'll yeah. caramelise, and that'll bring out the flavour of the bun. Nice. And you know, if you're going to make burgers, you can't make burgers without toasting the bun. You know, that's the secret. Right, because most people just kind of think of the bun as you know superfluous and not really that important, apart from holding everything together. Exactly. But yeah. You've got to make it so you get all the flavours that you can in one. So well, I'll keep an eye on the buns. It's very important. You know, yeah. it's very simple to make burgers. Yep. But a few key things make a great burger. Okay, so your beef putty, yes. obviously needs to be well seasoned, needs to be meaty, juicy. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a really good bun which is toasted, you know, and have a really nice sauce in there as nice. well. So for the sauce, just in this one, we've just got some mayonnaise and some mustard as well. So we're Beautiful. just going to keep it nice and sharp for the blue cheese. Um, if you weren't going to put the blue cheese on, a little bit of ketchup in there would be nice as well, just yeah. bring all that nice sort of tomato flavour on. Okay, so you don't have to put the blue cheese in if you don't want to. Yeah, but well, it is the recipe, so yeah, you true. do. But if you're making Mark's recipe, you put the blue cheese in. <laughs> Otherwise, right. he will hunt you down. <laughs> okay, so how, but what do we do? Are we going to cook the cheese on the patty? Yeah, yeah. So, ah. so obviously, blue cheese, you know, it's full of flat. It's nice and soft. So I'm just going to cut it. You know, be quite generous. Yeah. I'm just going to pop it on there. We've just flipped that burger over. So the side where we just flipped it over is nice and uh, hot. So we're just going to use that heat as well, just to slowly melt the burger. Mm. Beautiful. You know, and then pickles. You know, you need you need some acidity yep. when your burgers are hot. How are those buns doing? Yeah, no, they're good. Do you need? Do they? Will they brown up or is that? They good? should. Okay, cool. Shall I turn <laughs> it up a bit? Yeah. Okay, good. Right, you so you got nice some nice slices nice. of pickles. Fantastic. Bit of lettuce as well. Just take the ends off, and we're just going to leave the lettuce, you know, nice pieces like that. You know, beautiful and green, crunchy part of the lettuce. A little bit of apple as well, so a nice bit of sweetness and some texture. I would have never thought of that. Yeah, you know, it doesn't always have to be like the, you know, the same burgers all the time. I'm Quite pleased. nice to mix it up. I'm pleased that you're making this because after your weekend at the Wild Food Festival, I thought you might be, you know, mincing up some crickets and, <laughs> you know, whatever. No, I just wanted some real food. Yeah, you wanted some real food. <laughs> nice. Uh, and don't forget, we put the recipe online at thecafe.co.nz so you can check it out, today's recipe, and all the others as well. I think that they're, looking, they're coming along nice yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, so, so you, a bit more. It's starting to get a bit of colour. Yeah, yeah, we want some good colour on there. Okay, We're going to cool. flip it over and get some colour on the top. But you can already feel that bun as well. It's sort of, you know, you're getting a nice little crust on the outside. Side, but it's oh, lightening yeah. up as well. Fluffy, even. you know. Yep. So it's going to look huge, the burger, but when you eat it, it's just full of air. Mm. Beautiful. And meat. And meat. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Well, just about done, and I'm sure you will be trying this at home. Something you can do this week, of course. Things are smelling incredible. Mark, those burgers smell incredible. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm just going to finish it off. Got the lettuce, the apple, oh. finish with some pickles, lid on. Look at that. Oh, that's oh, pretty yeah. cool, huh? Right? Yeah. Thank you for morning tea. Make sure you get audience to get nice through that look like they're in restaurants. <laughs>